one year on, the protests by investors caught up in the Lehman collapse are smaller but no less noisy. This demonstration outside the main police headquarters demanding an investigation into what they claim are dubious practices by the banks. Every bank is just put like this, you know, they don't want to care. The bank has been covered up. They did not tell us what we should know when we purchase this. One year ago, thousands of investors, many of them elderly who'd been saving for retirement, got calls from their banks to say their investments were worthless. They bought what they thought were safe mini bonds, which turned out to be complicated, risky investments. Why they use that uh, FX to uh, sell to the old people? And didn't tell them this is have the risk. No RISK. For the past year, they've protested on the streets. They've protested outside the banks. Responding to the pressure, the banks have now settled with most of the investors, giving them back at least 60% of their money. But some investors are still holding out, accusing the banks and government of making the problem go away with cash instead of punishing those responsible. That's the point why we are so unhappy, you know, not only about money, you know, it's about the uh, who is going to be responsible, who is going to be accountable. And then there are still investors not covered by the buyback scheme, with investments not classed as mini bonds, but still as risky and now seemingly worthless. As other victims around me, you can look at some people is already retired and they have no ability to make more money anymore. So I think that is a big disaster for them. It's very unfair. In a city where the business day often starts over breakfast at events like this one, all the talk is of an imminent upturn, with everyone wanting to put the Lehman saga behind them. Have quite stabilised. But overall, I think oh, that, that the, the involved amount is not that significant. I don't think that uh, really damage I mean, oh, the Hong Kong as such. But certainly significant for those who lost out. And commentators here are seeing a chastened global financial centre coming to accept it's not as smart as it thought it was. Investors are going to be a lot more careful. But banks are going to have to pause and say, can we really offer such complicated products to relatively inexperienced retail investors. Is it fair to do so? I know the word fair and banking don't often come together, but perhaps they should. One year into this crisis, many people in Hong Kong are seeing signs of recovery. For these investors, the effects of the Lehman's collapse will be felt for a lifetime. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.